Ski jumping is reaching the height of its 2021 calendar in the United States, ahead of the Beijing Winter Olympics. Trials held in the former Olympic town of Lake Placid, New York, help decide which athletes get to go to the Games. Among them are men and women, boys and girls, some in their mid-teens, who are competing on the national stage for the first time. Most have been jumping since they were young children. Well, you just start on the smaller hills and then you build up and you just learn to like go fly all the way down the hill. Judges are looking at the power, control and length of the jump. This ski jump is a K90, which means it's 90 meters from where the athletes take off to where the hill begins to flatten out. The best jumpers go up to 100 meters. There are different start positions at the top of the inlay, which dictates how fast each athlete goes. When you stand this close to the action, you can see how precise and powerful this Winter Olympic sport is. When the athletes jump from this point, they're going at their fastest speed. This one, more than 86 kilometers per hour. The coaches say ski jumpers are usually strong, slim and flexible. But strength of mind is even more important. Ski jumping is probably 80% mental. Like you can go and you can train and do all these things off the hill in the weight room in the gym and do technique sessions. But if you don't have confidence in yourself, it's not going to come together. Youth sometimes helps too. Coaches say the younger jumpers often have less fear. But 15 years old is the minimum age at which they're allowed to compete at the international level. For ski jumpers, there's nothing like the feeling of the sport. It's kind of undescribable. You just like, um, it just like feels like you're floating almost. Yeah. Just watching ski jumping up this close most definitely takes your breath away. Caroline Malone, CGTN, Lake Placid, New York.